According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways, because bees don't care what humans think is po impossible. Cut to Barry's room where he's picking out what to wear. Yellow. Black. Yellow. Black. Yellow. Black. Yellow. Black. Oh, black and yellow. Yeah, let's shake it up a little. Barry uses honey from a dispenser to style his hair, rinses his mouth, and then applies it to his armpits. Barry, breakfast is ready. Come. Oh, hang on a second. Hello. Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't believe it. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Barry, why don't you use the stairs? Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's a graduate. We're very proud of you, son. And a perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. Touches Barry's hair. Ma, I got a thing going here. Oh, you got some wood on your fuzz. That's me. Wave at us. We'll be in a row. 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop playing in the house. Barry drives his car to pick up his classmate. Adam's outside his house reading the Hive Today newspaper. The front page of the headline reads, Frisbee hits Hive, internet down. B, I hear sound, then whammo. Barry? It's your turn. A Here. little. It's yeah. a special day. Finally graduating. Never thought I'd make it. Yeah, three days of grade school, three days of high school. Those were so awkward. Three days of college. I'm glad I took off one day in the middle and just hitchhike, a hitchhike around the hive. You did come back different. A bee calls out as they drive past. Hi, Barry. Hey, Artie. Growing a mustache looks good. Hey, did you hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to his funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows you sting someone, you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. He was such a hothead. Yeah. I guess he kind of just got it out that of the way. They make various noises as the car goes up and down some hills and does a loop on the road. Whoa. Ooh. I love this incorporating an amusement park right into a regular day. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacations. They arrive, fly in, and take their seats. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, we are men. We are. B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Dean Buz Dean Buswell walks onto the stage and taps the microphone. Welcome, a new high city graduating class of. Presses a button to change the timer of on the podium from nine to nine fifteen. Nine fifteen, and that concludes the graduation ceremony. Student cheers, further caps into the air as helmets are placed on their heads, and begins your careers at Honex Industries. Are we are we gonna pick our jobs today? I hear it, it's just orientation. Oh, uh, whoa, heads up. Here we go. 
the stands for Winger University. The stands are sitting and begin converting into tram seating. Keep your keep your hands and antennas inside the trams at all times. Flies go down to the into the tram as it starts moving and repeats it in Spanish. Mantunga says Manu e antennas dentro del travia and on tudo momento. Wonder what it's gonna be like. A little scary. He and Barry mimic shivering and making scared noises. Uh. Ah, welcome to Honex, a division of Honexco and a part of the Hoxagon group. That. Wow. 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 We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when your valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Top secret formula is automatically colored, corrected, scent adjusted, and bubbled corn contoured into this soothing sweep syrup. What is this thing with distinctive golden glow you know as honey? Tour guide grabs a beaker of honey as they drive by and tosses it to the group, which bounces it around towards the back. Oh, that girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? We're all cousins. All right, you're right. At Hanex, we always constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. Behind a display window, a bee puts on a helmet that runs back and forth as lovers holding a rolled up magazine fly swatters and a shoe move down to try to hit him. He is hit by the magazine, dodges the fly swatter, but then hit by the boot again and again by all three, followed by being sprayed with aerosol from two cans. He signals he's okay, but is flattened by the fly swatter magazine and shoe and Shu converging to the strike him together. He signals he's still okay by poking his arm through a hole in the fly swatter and giving another thumbs up. The train r riders applause. Oh, what do you think he makes? Not enough. And here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. Wow, what does that do? Catches that little strain of honey that hangs after you pour it saves us millions. A Krillman worker waves at and Adam waves back. Uh, uh, can anyone work on the Krillman? Of course. Most bill bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in that job the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? Huh? And you'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Whoa. Oh. Oh, you'll just work us to death. We'll sure try. Everyone laughs while Barry looks uncomfortable. The tram converts into a boat that flows the, down a log flume style ramp with honey in it, then converts back to a wheel tram at the end. With the tour over, Adam and Barry head home. Adam jumps with excitement. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? Adam, how could you say that one job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. Well, I'm relief. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? B Barry, why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functionary, functioning society on Earth. A filling station attendant yells at the bee for putting the honey nozzle into his own mouth. Yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. 
both stop in the middle of an intersection. The traffic adjusts to drive around them. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please get, please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force, force on approach. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second, check it out. Hey, those are Paul and Jockeys. Wow. Pulling jocks flies into the hive and land. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like to go outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't come back. Two lady bees wave at the gir- jocks in color. Hey, jocks. Jocks. Hi, jocks. The pollen is removed from the jocks and collected into storage capsule marked nectar. Then trucked, o- trucked away, a general flies over to welcome them. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying. Who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Pollen begins drifting down or around them. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. I think bees make too big of a deal out of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. The same the same. Two, oh, go ahead. The same two ladies' bees giggle at being talked about by Barry. Those ladies? Are they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Three pollen jocks observe them. Look at, Look the, at these uh, two. Couple of hive hairies. Let's have some fun with them. It must be so dangerous. Yeah, a pollen jock. Oh yeah, one time a bear had me pinned up against a mushroom. He had one paw on my throat, harder. And with the other, he was slapping me back and forth across the face. Oh! I never thought I'd knock him out. Ed! Ed! What were you doing during all this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that if you want. A little gussy out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. Where, we, yeah, we're gonna hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry. It's a puddle jump for us. But, maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You're not. We're going 0900 at J gate. Whoa. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Later. Back at home that night, Barry is on the balcony, looking out at the hive. Hey, Hanex. Oh, Dad, you surprised me. Uh, uh, uh. Have you decided what you're interested in, son? Well, there's lots of choices. But you only get one. Uh, uh, uh. Dad. Do you ever get bored of doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm and that's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You knew you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a a stinger. Well, no. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. 
Bree, uh, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey, our son, the stirrer. You're gonna be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait until you see the sticks I have for you. I could say anything I want right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get a ta- an ant tattoo. Oh, let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Mom and Dad start walking away. Dad raises his glass and says, To honey. Shave my antenna. So funny. Shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and start calling everybody dog. I'm so proud. Barry and Adam arrive in the next morning at the job selection booth. I can't believe we're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, alright. De- Dean Bunswell at his second job, located at the desk in front of the whole next job placement board. Full and counting, stunt bees, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. And one of them is yours. Congratulations, son. Step to the side, please. Yeah. What do you get? Picking the crowd out. Wow. That is stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day, and we are ready. Well, step up and make your choice. Do you want to go first? Uh, no. You go. Oh my, oh my. What's available? Restroom attendance always open, and not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellmans to the Krellman, sir? Sure, you're on. Status for Krellman worker changes suddenly. Oh, I'm sorry. Krellman should have closed out. Oh, wax markings always open. And the Krellman just opened up again. What happened? Well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead dead another dead one daddy deadified two more dead dead from the neck up dead from the neck down but that's life oh this is so hard beating cooling stumpy poro poro sir humming inspector number seven Link coordinator, stripe supervisor, antenna ball polisher, might wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should? Barry? Barry? Alright, we've got the sunflower patch in court nine. Geranium window box at sudden place. Adam calls Barry. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh no. I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. (sighs) You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Oh, another call coming in. Barry hangs up as Adam says again, you're crazy. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets the roses today. Hey guys. Well, look at that. 
Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restriction. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Yeah. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here, just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got rain advisory today. And as you know, bees can now fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, just babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for all your rookies. Hey, law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right. Lost possessions. The pole and jocks begin chanting. Buzz. 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 <laughs> Over and over as they chase positions. Black and yellow. Hello. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. The pollen jocks begin calling out their flight preparation. When? When check. Check. Antenna. Check. Nectar pack. Check. Wings. Check! Sting! <laughs> Scared out of my shorts. Check. Okay, ladies. Let's move out. Flight crews help the jocks get their wings started. Now those petonias, you stripe them, suckers. All of you drain those flowers. All the part. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out so blue. Whoa! I feel so fast and free. They fly and miss a bunch of colorful kites, and Barry flies through one. Box kite! Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. They fly through a field of flowers. Flowers! This is Blue Leader. We have Rose, Rose Visual. Bring it up, it's 30 degrees, and hold. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. The Quadrant lands, the jocks fire their nectar packs, and long tubes inject the flowers and suck up nectar. Stand this side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. Oh, that is one nectar collector. You ever seen a, po a pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, spring it over here, maybe. So over here, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic, ain't it? Wow, that's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen, power kid. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. <laughs> it's a hard time. Are you guys reciting the B movie script in a coffee <laughs> mug? <laughs> style. Hey, you want to join to be other voices? Yes. Uh, Come on. Wait a second. My T-shirts came, and I need to try them on first. Okay. The the true classic ones. Okay, I'm but I'm Barry. So when you come back, just pick anyone else other than Barry and Adam. I want to be the I want to be the fucking the judge that looks like Jake because he's morbidly obese. Okay, we're live right now. So <laughs> be careful of what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Jake Gyllenhaal from Spider-Man. Yeah. You can the be the you, you can be You can be the woman when she pops up. 
<laughs> Alrighty. The squadron flies over a pond. Barry sees his reflection in the water, reenacting the hippogriff scene from Harry Potter, which itself was a shot for shot reenactment of the eagle scene from Rescuers Down Under. I'm picking up a lot of bright well, yellow. Could be Daisy. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Hold on. One of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, are you reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. The three bees land to check out the object, which turned out to be tennis balls. In the distance. That was on the line! This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but yeah, I like it. Fu yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's getting a little grabby. Lands on one, a berry lands on one of the objects and hugs it. My sweet lord of bees. Hey, candy brain, get off there. Problem. A woman picks up a tennis ball. Barry's stuck to and walks back to the serving line. Guys. This could be bad. Affirmative. As the woman bounces the ball a few times, Barry's still stuck to it and says on each bounce. Very close. Gonna hurt Mama's little boy. You're way out of position. Rookie. Barry screams. screams as the woman hits the ball. <laughs> Coming in at you like a missile. In slow motion. Help me. You know, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. <laughs> You can just start packing up, honey, because I believe you're about to eat it. Jackson clears his throat, distracting Ken, causing Ken to hit the ball, setting it high into air and into the street. What? Oh no. Oh. You cannot be serious. Yowzers. Barry gets sucked into an engine compartment of a passing car into the engine before escaping through a hole into the car's air conditioning system where he sees a dead bug stuck in the filter. Ew, gross. A woman in the car turns on the air conditioning, blowing Barry into the car's cabin where she sees him. There's a bee in the car. She screams at Barry. Barry screams at her. Everyone except the young girl screams back to her husband. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, B. He's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody moves. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. Everyone stays still, including Barry, who hovers in the same spot. He blinked. She gets out a can of hairspray and sprays it on Barry. Young boy. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Barry escapes out of the roof and... Barry. Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Something moves down past them very close and fast. Barry sees a rain starting to fall heavily. Can't fly in rain, can't fly in rain, can't fly in rain. A raindrop hits him, but before he can recover, Another hits him. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Barry sees a window ledge, barely makes it there, then crawls through the open window. Oh, Caden. Oh, already, I'll just mimic Caden's voice. Oh. <laughs> Ken, could you please close the windows, please? Ah. Huh? Oh, check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure, you see. Folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. 
Barry tries to fly out the window but bounces off of it. Oof. Ow, what was that? Tries again. Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this, 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 drapes. Taps the glass. This is diabolical. Showing off. Showing, okay. <laughs> Showing you how off this resume. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills. Even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one? Star Wars. <laughs> No, I don't get the that. script. Um, uh, basically, where he when he meets Vanessa and Ken. So, oh, fuck, I'm gonna scroll that way. I need to compare to. The we're screen. like we're like at a quarter way. Are you streaming on yours or? We're oh. both streaming. Oh. Here, I could just share my screen. Here. <clears throat> Can't remember as sexual as you can. Yeah. You're Vanessa. Like the M from M. M. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm. I'm. We're I'm at Ken. the I'll, Ken part right yeah. here. Yeah. Alrighty. Nah, I don't go for that. Pew, pew, pew. Kind of stuff. No wonder we're not supposed to talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I walk out of the job interview. They're flabbergasted. They can't believe the things I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way out. Barry flies towards the light near the ceiling. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. Bounces off of it, starts falling, landing in a bowl of chip and dip. I gotta tell you. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Andy scoops up some, some of the dip with a tortilla chip, including Barry, and bears it towards his mouth. Wait! Stop! B! Kill it! Kill it! Grab something to kill it. Stand, stand back. These are winter boots. Can you share your screen again, Tolan? I need to. I need the reference. We're at your part, anyways. Yeah, it's your turn. You're right here. We're at Vanessa. Wait, don't kill him. What the fuck website are you on? It's the. Kaden, are you are you streaming? No. Okay. Oh, I'm not streaming. <laughs> I just Canada saw Jill be like, "Oh my God, is that the Canada esports?" <laughs> Whoa, is that you, Caden, that wrote WoW? Very impressive. Yes. Oh, thank God, I'm like, who the fuck has it? <laughs> Imagine. It's just fucking Mike. Oh my god, I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I died a little bit there. Yeah, I'm streaming on Canada Esports. <laughs> Welcome to the new uh, oh, Esports stream. Oh, I get to NASA? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh We've been doing this for like fucking 33 minutes. Yep. Jeez. So basically, Dolair Dolan is um uh, is uh Barry. I'm Adam, and now Ken, and uh, you're Vanessa. I need to like we kind of like switch off secondary characters. Yeah, because I'm I'm not gonna remember everyone I'm playing. But yeah, yeah. I mainly focus on Barry. Yeah, I only think of like a voice. Or I guess it's ASMR, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, be sexual man. Yeah. Wait, God kill him. <laughs> you know, I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Wait, can you keep your stream up? I, I might just read off that. If you can. Uh, every time I do, I drop frames, that's why. Fuck, never mind. <laughs> Let's go on the transcript. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I should look for it. It's basically like a quarter for the scrolling. So we're a quarter through the film. Uh -uh. <laughs> Wait, don't kill him. I think I know which part in the movie this is, too. <laughs> yeah, it's when they're in the yeah. apartment. <laughs> yeah, I need to change my title to featuring. What's your What's your username, Caden? Oh, 
I don't really stream on my Twitch account, but just put K and KG. Okay. It's fucking my Twitch is called like Kaden on the mic or some shit like that, but I don't stream on not stream on my account anymore. Okay. Featuring Delair and Kaden KG. KGB. I'm running a three minute <laughs> ad right now. Just so Running an ad? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I, I'm, I found Don't Kill Him. Wait, what line are you guys on? Uh, Don't Kill Him. You know, I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Okay, yeah, I see. I Over see, right I see. here. We're at Wall Y. Okay, that's your one. Why? What? <laughs> what says, why does his life have less value than yours? Yeah. Where you yeah. Go? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's me? Yeah, you're Vanessa. I know, but it doesn't say in the transcript. Doesn't say which characters say what. No, no, yeah, no. It should say on the. Oh, you're on the wrong transcript. Yeah, aren't you? yeah, yeah. Go on the B movie fandom one. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this one's got the names of everyone. Yeah. You gotta remember to do the. <gasps> yeah, I do. <laughs> I, mean, I literally have my like, my my blue mic for this. My blue ball mic. <laughs> as as um, uh, Jacob calls it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good. Well, why does his life have any less value? In yours, Vanessa places the last over Barry. Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. Vanessa rips Ken's resume in half and slides out. Under the glass. My brochure! <laughs> Carries the glass with Barry inside over the window and releases him, all while maintaining oddly intimate eye contact. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. Uh, but yeah, it's an allergic thing. Hey, why don't you put that on your resume brochure? It's not funny. My whole face could pop up. Pop up. Make it one of your special skills. You know, knocking someone out is also a special skill. Later, as the rain stops and the sun comes back out. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yoga night. Ah, yeah. Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. You can put carob chips on there. <laughs> Bye. Supposed to be less calories or something. <sighs> Bye. Last guess, the last for guest leaves. She shuts the door and begins clean up. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I've gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Barry flies back into her house through almost a closed window and stops in front of a can of bumblebee chunk light tuna. As Vanessa walks by, stopping right in line with the mascot, he starts to walk away and looks back, says, huh? Turns out, Turns back around and looks at the mascot and says, nah, as he dismisses the picture and continues to walk. Barry resumes to fly and lands on a postcard from Coney Island taped on the refrigerator, again in a position where Vanessa doesn't notice him. What can I say? What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. He begins debating himself. I've got to. Oh, I can't. Oh, come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? 
Do you like jazz? No, <laughs> not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Um, hi. You fucking sound like Hunter. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck, fuck! I keep on ah, oh, it's the second time. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck! Well, continue, motherfucker. <laughs> gotta go gasp. <gasps> I basically did fucking gasp. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, Vanessa, let's go. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to keep the stream on a separate tab so I don't fucking forget again. Okay, <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Ha, <laughs> you're talking. Yes, I know. I know. I'm so... You're talking. I know. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's just I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Moose, get the fuck out of my room, you fucking <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. And bitch leaves me on a long pause. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bee, and uh, you know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but... <laughs> Unless it makes a small... Wait. Do the sounds. <laughs> Vanessa, do the sounds. The O oh. oh and the uh-huh. Oh, hey. The O oh and the uh huh. <laughs> Noises while Barry's talking. Th Thank you, FR4PTU10 USD4Y, for the follow. Let's go. Vanessa grabs a fork and stabs herself in the hand, then cries out. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a little weird. I'm talking to a bee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to a bee. Anyway. <laughs> and the bee is talking to me. <laughs> um, I just want to say I'm grateful. I'm gonna leave now. Wait, 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 wait. How'd you learn that? What? That, 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 that talking thing. Oh, the same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada. <laughs> Honey, you pick it up. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry. What we have to deal with anyway. Can I uh, get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Well, uh, I don't want to put you out unless you're making it anyway. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Am I dumb? You're at the... Oh, it's no trouble. Oh, it's no trouble. Take two minutes. Really? It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. A warm coffee cup. Hey, you want a little rum cake? I really shouldn't. Have a little rum cake. No, 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 I can't. Oh, come on. You know, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms here. Yes, we're here in B movie well, ASMR crossover. These stripes don't help. It's the best you of the look best. Great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Vanessa walks away and begins pouring coffee onto the floor, a cup, a coffee cup in her hand. Are you all right? No. Fade to Vanessa and Barry on her roof, talking and having coffee. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. So he finally gets there. Uh-huh. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. 
Yeah. And he says, watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Uh, 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 uh. Why would I marry a watermelon? <laughs> Vanessa, more confused than amused, buried gestures, indicating his joke is done. Oh, uh, is that a, a, a bee joke? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So anyway, what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, my parents wanted me to be a doctor or a lawyer, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. I knew Queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Oh, ha. Huh. huh. Anyway, if you if you see if you look there, there's my hive right there. You can see it. Oh, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yeah, you know the turtle pond. Yes. I'm right off that. Oh no way! I know that area. You know, I lost a toe right there once. Behind them, a janitor comes onto the roof and begins working on replacing a light bulb. Really? Yes. <laughs> why do girls put rings on their toes? <laughs> well, why not? I don't know. It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? <laughs> Realizing how it must look talking to herself. Oh, yeah, fine. Just having... Two cups of coffee. <laughs> Vanessa and Barry Vanessa. share a little quiet time. She glances aside and catches him staring smittenly. Actual line from the official audio description. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, um, anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Oh, yeah, it's no trouble. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't finish it. But if I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you, uh, um, can I take a piece with me? Sure. Have a prum. She passes one to Barry on her fingertip. Oh, thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I'll see you around or not. Or. Okay, okay baby. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing. But anyway, Barry extends his hand. Vanessa touches it with her finger and they gingerly shake. The janitor looks over and continues to tighten, tighten up the bulb in the socket. It shorts, causing him to lose his balance and fall backwards. The next day at Hun X building, hurricane survival testing is in progress. A bee wearing a parachute is in a wind tunnel. This can't possibly work. Well, he's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Dave, pull the cord and is immediately blown backwards. He slides down the wall. It shakily gives a thumb up, thumbs up signal. Barry and Adam walk by outside of the testing chamber. Sounds amazing. Oh, it was amazing. It, it was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giants carry humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive around all real crazy. And they try and kill you like on TV. Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back? Poodle. Look. You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see out there. 
You had your experience. <clears throat> and now you're back. You can pick out your job. And everything can be normal. Well. Well, well. Well, I met someone. You met someone? Was she... Bish? Mm. Not a wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. A spider? You know, I'm not attracted to the... the attracted to spiders i know to everyone else it's like the hottest thing with the eight legs and all i can't get by that face so um who is she she's uh a human oh no 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 that didn't happen you didn't do that that is B-Law. You, you wouldn't break a B-Law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh. Oh, boy. She, she's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no. 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 You're dating a human florist. Well, we're, we're not dating. You're flying outside the hive. You're talking to human beings that attack our homes with power washer and M80s. That's one eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is a. Pulls up rum cape crumb. Eat this! Pushes it into Adam's face. This is not over. Why? What was that? They call it a crumb. That was so stinging stripey. And that's not even what they eat. That's just what falls off what they eat. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread. Come in here. Opens the door to the office where he works and guides Barry inside. And cinnamon. Be quiet. And frosting, they heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. They're us. And there's them. Yeah, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking, be my friend. And let her be joins in. Thinking B, and another joins in. Thinking B. All B's in the office began changing. Thinking, thinking B. Thinking, thinking B. Thinking B. Outside his house, Barry sits on a raft in his family's hexagon shaped honey pool. Legs dangling down, dangling into the honey. Mom and dad approach, wearing combined type outfits, sun shining behind them. Oh, um, uh, there he is. He's not, he's in the pool. Kaden. You know what your problem is, Barry? I've got to start thinking B. Yeah, Kaden, you take the dad. What, the dad? Yeah. yeah. Where's, I'll, where's, I'll where's, be right back. Dad, I gotta take a follow You got a what? G A 11 I N 6641111. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I had a follower. I had a new follower. Barry, how much For longer this? is this yeah. going to go on? It's been three days. I don't understand why you're not working. Wait, uh, oh yeah. That's well, you. I've got a lot of big life decisions I'm thinking about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. <sighs> would, would it kill you? Did you just make a little honey? <laughs> Barry rolls off the rough and sinks into the pool. Barry, come out from under there. You're rather talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. Barry, 
keeps swimming downwards for the honey, which clears and leads him to an imaginary park where Vanessa is waiting for him, reclining on a- Oh, this scene. <laughs> reclining on a picnic blanket. Sugar, 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 sugar. Oh, sugar, sugar. By the Yorkie is playing in the background. She spots a mosquito and it's on her leg. That looks the very first reaction. Both her surprise, but then laughs about it. Why is the script so fucking sexual? You coming? Got everything. All set. She gets into a one-man ultralight plane with a black and yellow paint job and puts on her helmet. And she's now very sized. <laughs> you go ahead, I'll catch up. Don't be too long. The plane takes off. Barry soon catches up and they fly together. Watch this. The plane does a loop, trailing red smoke that forms a heart, then crashes into the side of a rock pile, bursting into flames. <sighs> Vanessa? <laughs> Barry breaks the surface of the pool, gasping for air. Oh, Dad. We're still here, Aiden, Barry. I, I, told, I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Oh, I'm not list listing to this. Excuse me, that's a fucking typo. <laughs> Barry dries himself and puts on a sweater. Sorry, Mom, I've got to go. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm meeting a friend. Calling after him. Hey, girl, is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bish. Vanessa exits her floor shop, flipping the sign over and locking the door. Barry, he sees the Tournament of Roses parade poster, so they have a huge parade just for flowers every year in Pasadena. Oh, Vanessa. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, to be in the Tournament of Roses. That's every florist stream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds, cheering. Wow, a tournament. Do the Rosas actually compete in athletic events? No. All right, I got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Hmm. Why don't you run everywhere? Isn't that faster? Ah, yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. Ah, TiVo. You can just freeze live TV. That's insane. What? You don't have anything like that? We have a hive but it's a disease. A horrible, horrible disease. Oh my. They turn a corner onto a busier street. People start swatting at Barry. Dumb, Dumb bees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to make him a redneck. Yeah. <laughs> must want to sting all those jerks. We really try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. Oh, so you really have to watch your temper. They enter a supermarket. Oh yeah, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, throw it out. You work through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Why is it? What the fuck? What is with the script? I know, right? <laughs> I to don't be fair, this was movie. my idea for the B-movie thing, but it was Jeremy's idea for the whole other part. With the ASMR? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I thought I he was figured, fucking with me when he said to do it. I fucking figured. Because like, as soon as I heard him say it, I'm like, he's being serious. He's being dead fucking serious. <laughs> I feel like a degenerate right now. <laughs> Alrighty. Time to continue. It's a fine. <laughs> Oh, no, never mind. Two berry. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. Whew. To Hector the stock boy. What is wrong with you? It's a, it's a bug. bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he's not bothering anybody. Now get out of here, you creep. She slaps him with the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves him muttering. 
What was that? A pick and save circular? <laughs> yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages, 75 pretty much is our limit. Boy, you really got that down to science. To a science. Oh, we have to. I lost a cousin to an Italian vogue. I'll bet. Barry, he stops when he sees a row of honey jars. What in the mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? QB, Golden Blossom, really owed a private select. Is he an actor? Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is he there? For people. We need it. Why? He gestures around the market. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes, we, Dash. How do you even get it? Well, bees make it. Dot, dot, dot. I know how who makes it. It's hard to make it. There's heating and cooling and stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic, Dot. It's our organic. <laughs> it's just honey, a berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, our schools, our hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm gonna get th to the bottom of this. I'm gonna get to the bottom of all of this. Barry rips off the label of Ray Liotta of Private Select. Uh, Barry rips off off the label from a jar of Ray Liotta's pri private select honey. Later, Barry's infiltrating the supermarket, loading dock by covering his yellow stripes with a magic marker and putting on war paint. Hector's opening more boxes of honey jars. Hey, Hector, you almost done? Almost. <laughs> It's like Breaking Bad, Hector. Ba Barry steps in some honey. H Hector stops and turns. <clears throat> he is here. I sense it. Grabs box cutter as Barry hides. Talking loudly. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this honey out when no one around. You're busted, box boy. Aha! I knew I heard something, so you can talk. Oh, I can talk. And now you're going to start talking. Where are you getting all the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't know what you're talking about. I, th I thought we were all friends. The last thing we would want to do is upset any of you bees. Hector grabs a pushpin and begins fencing with a stinger. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, are about to be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. The fight continues. They cross swords and get nose to nose. Where is the honey coming from? Barry knocks the pushpin away from the, uh, with the stinger. Uh, his stinger up to Hector's nose. Tell me where. Hector points to a truck. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. <laughs> Barry flies after the farming truck, dodging a bus, taxi, and a messenger on a bicycle. One driver yells at messenger, crazy person. Too bad, Dolan. Barry continues his pursuit, using the elastic strap on a bicycle messenger uh, helmet to launch himself towards the truck. He lands on the windshield, pressed against by the wind. He sees himself surrounded by dead bugs that works his way around them. Oh my, what a horrible thing has happened here. Look at these faces. They never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Psst. The moose just, blood? It just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? Hey, man. They will wipe anything that moves. Now... Where are you headed? To honey farms. I'm onto something huge. I'm going to Alaska. Mouse blood. Crazy stuff. 
blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? He really is dead. All right. Uh oh. Uh, what is that? Oh no. It's a viper. Triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance, B. They hang on to the viper as it moves back and forth. Moose blood. Yells at the driver through the glass. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window. Inside the cab, the radio is playing. For NPR, NPR News in Washington, I'm Car, uh, Carl Kessel. But don't kill no more bugs. He is flying off the wipe as the washer fluid sprays onto the what windshield. The Blood. <laughs> you hear something, Caden? Like what? <laughs> you hear something? Oh, sorry, like tiny screaming. <laughs> Turn off the radio. <laughs> the driver turns off the radio and the antenna retracts and it lowers the crickets and berries work their way to its top. Barry wins and the cricket has to let go, but then so does Barry, and he sucked, he sucked into the air horn on top of the truck. Hey, what's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Inside the truck horn later, later during the drive. And it was just an endless row of honey jars as far as the eye can see. Wow. Oh. His blood. Wow. Huh? <laughs> wow. So, so just assuming wherever this honey truck goes, that's where our work they're getting it. I mean, that's our honey. Bees hang tight. Well, we're all jammed in there. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every Every mosquito is on his own. But what if you get in trouble? Trouble? You're a mosquito. You're in trouble. Nobody likes us. They're just all smacking. People see the mosquito. Smack! Huh? Smack! At least you're out in the world. You must meet a lot of girls. Mosquito girls try to tray out. Get with a moth dragonfly. Mosquito girls don't want no mosquito. A bloodmobile passes them. Whoa! You have to be kidding me. Mouse blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. He leaves and jumps onto the other vehicle, saying to the bugs on the sweet chill, Hey guys, I knew to catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straws? At Honey Farms, the truck stops. Barry flies out of the horn and lands on the nose of the truck. Two beekeepers walk around the backside of the gift shop. Barry follows, landing in a tree. Caden. I love. Aww. Hey, Freddy. God, fuck, I don't know what voice it is. Can we throw in some jars, slap a label on it? It's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain. I thought that, Jeremy, I'm read sorry. the name. Read the name. Oh. Oh, oh. fuck. Oh, a bee's got a brain. Oh, I can't make his voice. <laughs> bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. <laughs> and they are pinheads. Ha 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 Check out the new smoker. That's the one you want. The Tom is three thousand. Smoker. 
99 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine and the tar. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> That's how they smoke bees is nicotine and tar. Ah. Uh, that was the laugh, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. A oh, couple of breaths of this, I'm knocking. Knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. Barry flies onto Freddy's hat and onto them, onto the brim. They make the honey, we make the money. Freddy and Elmo walk onward. Freddy open up an Apiri bra, um, what the fuck? I don't know what that is. The bee box and sprays it with smoke. Inside the bees start moaning, gasping. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, Barry flies into the bo- open box and Freddy leaves <laughs> and makes his way to, into an apartment. Two bees are just waking up. Moaning and gasping. Oh, what's going on? Are you okay? Must be yeah, out. yeah. It doesn't last too long. How, how did you get here? Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. (laughs) This is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. The walls separating the apartments are removed, revealing hundreds of them. What is this? Fly through the apartments and out into the open air. He hovers above the tree where he sees even more boxes on the farm. He begins taking pictures. Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Be honey, our honey is being brazenly stolen on a mass scale. Back home, Barry talking to with his parents, Adam and Uncle Carl. Barry, this is worse than anything the bears have done to us, and I intend to do something about it. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's just a rumor. Do these look like rumors? Barry throws his pictures on the table. That's conspiracy theories. These are obviously, obviously doctor's photos. Ah. Uh, Barry, how did you get mixed up in all of this? Because he's been talking to humans. What? <laughs> talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. Oh, Barry. And they make out. Make out, Barry. We do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Man, those crazy lights kept me all night. Hotcha! This fucking movie. <laughs> Barry, Barry, this is what you want. <laughs> Barry, this is what you want to do in your life? This is what I want to do for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home some nights so overworked. Y- your, your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop them. Eh. To her husband. I remember that. What right do they have to our hard-earned honey? We're living on two cups a year. They're putting it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. (laughs) Even if it's true, Barry, what could one bee do? I'm going to sting them where it hurts. In the face? No. In the eye? That would really hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. No, there's only one place you can sting a human. One place where it really matters. The scene cuts to the title sequence of The Hive at 5. Program title sequence shows news covered in the past. A Paul and Chuck coming in from a crash landing with a stinger that's on fire. A protest about bee bee beards and a bear destroying a hive. Next are the newscasters. Voice over. Hive at 5. The Hive's only full hour action news source with Bob Bumble 
at the Anchor Desk, Weather with Storm Stinger, Sports with Buzz Larvey, and Jeanette Chung. Good evening. Uh, good evening. I'm Bob Bull- Bumble. And I'm Jeanette Chung. Our top story at Tri-County B, Barry Bunsen, is saying he intends to sue the human race for stealing honey, packaging it, and profiting it illegally. Broadcast, Broadcast sh- shifts oh, to another studio no. in the building for Barry Lee King oh, live. Oh. Who wants to be Barry? <laughs> be Larry King. Caden. I get to be be Larry King. Be be be. Be be Larry King. Be be Larry King. Hold up. What does Larry King sound like? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Should we take a, a little break here? We're halfway through. I'm gonna go have a little break. Okay. I need to go have. A, I need to go have it. It's 4:20. I need to go have a joint. Okay. It's 4:21. Genius. Whatever. You know what? It's fucking <laughs> same shit, different toilet. Okay. We'll put a powder. <laughs> Putting on the bit be right back screen. Be right back guys.
Hello? Jill? What was that? I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, down, we're down. on COD, Jeremy. We're, we'll finish this another day. <laughs> I, it's giving me too much autism. No, I can't. I feel like, I feel like Hunter. Alrighty, thank you for watching. We're actually ending this prematurely. We're basically halfway for the 